yeah, I'm really happy, you know, um, reunited back with my old manager who I was um, under for two years um, before he came into management and he coached me for altogether about four years. So, you know, signing here and uh, being reunited back with him, um, uh, I'm really happy with him. I suppose that's the obvious link that people will pull for your move here. How, how big an uh, influence was that on your decision? It's a big influence because I've done well um, under him uh, when when I when I played at Burton, and you know um, he he kind of raised my game to another level, which helped me to get my move into the championship. And uh, you know, since uh, as I left uh, uh, Sheffield Wednesday, you know um, it was it, it was almost like perfect, you know, that I come back and work under him again and seeing how big Birmingham. Uh, of a club it is, and uh, how well they've done since he took over. You know, I've got a really good feeling about next season. And your spell at Burton was obviously a, a very successful one for you there, and I suppose you you hope we can carry that form into with Gary at Birmingham. Yeah, you know, I think um, he knows exactly what kind of player I am. You know, I, I, I excite the fans. You know, I'm like I like dribbling, so it's my main. Um, my main thing, and he's, and and with that, is he, he helped me to add goals into my game, and uh, played me in the right positions, and you know all, everything clicked together when I was playing under him, and hopefully that will happen again, and hopefully I can help um, this club achieve good things. He's obviously had a, a great impact since he came here, turned the club's fortunes completely around. What does he do on the training field and as a manager that that, that has had such a great success not only here but before that as well? I think he, he makes players believe um, they can achieve stuff. I think that's um, first and foremost. I think he you know the players work well under him. Um, he's got a good um, staff behind him as well with uh, uh, Kevin Summerfield and uh, Mark Sales and Kevin Paul, the goalkeeper coach, and they all work well. They all work well together, and um, I, the, the only thing I could say my time spending with him is that he gave me a lot of confidence going into games that I, I could be a match winner every game, and you know, and and once a manager believes in you, it, it makes it much easier for you to perform on the pitch. So you know, I think um, confidence-wise, it gives you the loads of that, and you know, um, tactically and everything during the game. He 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 he's so clued up with the game, so he makes your life a lot easier when you're on the pitch. So um, hopefully, you know, you can carry on the good work, and I can bring something uh, to the table, and hopefully, uh, help this uh, great club achieve good things. For the Blues fans that perhaps haven't seen that much of you play, what can they expect to see from you on the pitch? Um, hopefully I can e excite them on the pitch, you know, uh, score goals. I think uh, uh, I've proven that before and I hopefully I can get back into doing into doing that. Uh, create, I create, I, I'm, I'm a creative player, uh, so hopefully I can create a lot of chances and a lot of exciting moments for, for the fans who comes, who comes to watch. And the club finished the season on a high and I suppose the aim is for everybody and yourself included to just continue the form that they ended the season in last year. I think it will happen, you know, I think um, speaking to the manager, speaking speaking to Gary, the plans that he has, you know, obviously you don't want to um, be big headed or anything, but you know, we want to achieve um, uh, at least minimum what people say the playoffs, you know, but we're not going to go ahead over heels but we're going to take it one step at a time but you know finishing 10th um, in, the, in the top 10 I think is, is a great achievement from what where Birmingham was at the beginning of the season um, and uh, I was looking I was looking actually down when Sheffield we, with Sheffield when we was we was in like the top seven and you guys were in the, in, in the bottom half of the, of the table and you actually finished above us so you know it's, it's a great achievement what he's done uh, great work, and hopefully, um, with 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 me coming in, you can we can hopefully you know keep that going and 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 get a couple places uh, up. And there certainly seems to be a lot of belief back with the fans as well, which at a big club really really does help the team in in achieving the goals. No, I think the fans play a massive part, you know, um, in 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 how the team also performs. 
you know, and uh, playing here was difficult because the fans was always on our back, and you know, and, and you can see they're very passionate about the club and they want the club to do well. So hopefully, we as, as players, it's, it is our responsibility to give something back to the fans, you know, for to make their weekends more enjoyable. So hopefully, we can do that um, with the following season.